Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Sharita and the name of my channel is Unique by Sharita. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a bathroom refresh. Yes, our guest bathroom. The goal here is to kind of just update some of the builder grade items that was in here and just refresh the area. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this baseboard. The builder just used the towel for baseboard and I'm sick of it. So I'm going to have someone come in and install baseboard and crown molding in this area as well as crown molding in the guest bedroom and we're still going to have them put a little piece right above the new bar that we added. All of the items that are in the tub are things that I'm going to use to decorate this space. So I'm going to go ahead and clean all of those items out. And yes, we're getting crown molding. We're going to paint as well as wallpaper this area. And I was going to get a new um, mirror, but I decided to just use bevel mirror around the mirror. All right, so I got everything out of the tub. Now I need to clean up the space so I can have the installer come in and install the baseboard as well as the crown molding. All right, so now the crown molding and the base molding has been installed and it turned out great. What a difference it made. Now I'm just going to do the caulking because that was not part of the deal. I'm just going to caulk the baseboard as well as what you see I'm doing here is the crown molding. It was simple enough and plus I'm pretty sure I saved some money with doing my own caulking. Here's a sneak peek of where we're having the crown molding added in the bedroom as well as the bar.
So there was a company that reached out to me about doing a review on their lighted mirrors. And although I really, really, really like them, they wouldn't necessarily work in the space for me because I love this large mirror. I mean, I can step back and pretty much see my whole entire self. So the other mirrors, they were a little too small. So I decided to stay with the builder grade and just add the bevel edge all the way around the mirror. Now you can buy them in short strips or long strips. I chose the long strips and the cornered edges. So this isn't something you can just order off of Amazon or some of the other sites. I recommend you finding your local mirror or glass company and you just tell them what you want. Beveled glass for your mirror and you give them the exact measurements and it comes with, you can have them put the strip of uh, adhesive on the back or you can just add the liquid nail or whatever other product you choose to use. I went ahead with the double-sided tape and had them in, put it on there for me. So all I had to do was attach it to my mirror. That's what I did. Okay, so I know someone is going to ask, what do you do if you have those metal clips on your mirror that are used to hang the mirror? What I did was I used the double-sided tape, which is very, very sticky. It does not move once you put it on. It pretty much does not move. But what I did, since I do have the clips on my mirror, I went back and added liquid nail behind in the little gap. I put a little liquid nail on each clip. Therefore, I will have extra protection. I should be good and it shouldn't be coming off. Here I'm just using some tape to hold that one corner in place. For some reason it felt like it wanted to move so I put a little tape there just so it can absorb into the mirror and then I'll come back the next day and remove it. So now I'm going to show you how I use my curtains as shower curtains with one shower curtain rod. So the first thing you want to do is get you some curtains with some tabs on the back. If you don't have any with tabs on the back, you can purchase them or you can sew them on the back. These I already had in another room, so I just pulled them in here. And as you can see, I'm just putting them on the shower curtain rod. They should fit fine. I'm using a shower curtain rod I already had as well. And then we're going to hang them in the bathroom at the length that I want. So I chose 96 inch curtains. I want my shower curtains to be pretty high up to the ceiling to give it that luxurious or designer look, I would say. The next thing you'll need is your shower curtain. I chose a clear one. They do have them in different colors. The length I'm using is 92 inches. You can also use one the same length as your curtain. They do have 96 inches. I'm using the 92 inch. And here it is. You have to have the shower curtain hooks just like these. You have a choice to use whatever you like. I just chose these because it makes it look a lot neater when you hang them. 
All right, so I'm just going to add the hooks to my clear shower curtain and then I will hang the curtain on the inside of the tub. So I'll show you what I did in just a minute. Okay, so all I did was use my hook every other tab. So there's going to be a shower curtain hook between every curtain tab. And you see where I have two curtains, I'm just going to use a pin or you can sew it together right there. And usually you wouldn't have this issue, but my curtains weren't very wide. I, like I said, I used something I already had all right and there you have it you should be able to pull this shower curtain all the way to the end with no problem the other option would have been for us to cut the shower curtain down the center but i decided to make it one single pull by keeping it one whole shower curtain Okay, so now it's time to hang pictures. And if you're not familiar on how I hang my pictures using the tape method, I'll leave some videos in the description for you to watch.
this guest bathroom does connect to the guest bedroom. So I'll be doing a little refresh in the guest bedroom later on um, this month. So please be on the lookout for that video. I do want these two to kind of blend together. Right, everyone, we are coming to the end of this video. I'm going to leave links in the description. So look for the hearts. Those will be the links on where to purchase any of the items I have access to. Thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed and you find yourself keep coming back to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, turn your notification on so you'll be notified when I post videos. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.